Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to try our hand, excuse me, at course play and see if I can get the AI to completely mow, bale, and pick up the bales and deliver them to me without any intervention on my part. Okay, I have no idea if this is going to work. <laughs> I've seen uh, I've seen this done to one extent or another on on a couple YouTube videos, so I know it's possible. Um, but we're we're gonna and, and we're gonna change something else up too because I, I'm, I you know as, as if you've been watching along, you know I've kind of been experimenting with a few different ways to do silage, and um, the last few times we've used the fast baler and the smallest bales and. It works, but man, it takes a long time to get all that done. Um, so I'm going to go the complete opposite direction this time. I'm going to have my round baler bale the largest round bales, and we're going to use our extractor, our silage extractor, to create sausage tubes of the really long bales. And I think what we're going to do is I'm going to lay them out probably starting from here going this way because none of this ground here is uh you know it doesn't have any crop crop on it we don't have to drive through here and so it seems like it's probably the best place to to do it because we're going to have some really long tubes um if you didn't know this the round bales are over twice the capacity of the smallest bales so we're talking about the 180 centimeter round bales versus the 130 centimeters uh, so they're over twice the capacity which means Roughly, we'll have we'll only have about forty percent, you know, of bales to handle than we did before. Um, and then the idea is, you know, to let them ferment uh, in the tube, and then we either just directly pick them up with the the auto pickup trailer when it comes time to sell, or I could even unwrap them after they ferment and throw them in here. But I don't know that that would really be. I would only do that if I needed, I guess, to move them out of the way um, until, you know, it comes time to sell, which is in, probably going to be in January. So, yeah, so the, <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to work. This could fail miserably, or it might be a huge success or maybe something in between. I really don't know. But let's see if we can figure this out. So I did I did try a little bit of um, course play in the last episode, but it didn't quite work. And I haven't seen you guys' comments from that either, by the way. Oh, and I want to remind you, since we're on the, that topic, um, regarding comments and whatnot, is that uh, I am going to be out of town from October the 17th till the 24th-ish or somewhere around in there. And I won't be able to record videos uh, during that time, uh, but I will try and pre-record as many videos as I can, and I might uh, have to do the videos, uh, you know, uh, alternate every other day rather than release them every day. It just depends on how much I can get done before I leave. Okay, so anyway, enough of that. So we are on the field. I don't even think we need to have this turned on right now. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to right click to bring up course play. And we want to, so this stuff should just automatically be set based upon the header of the vehicle. Um, actually, you know what though? Let's turn it on and unfold it. Well, I think that's right. It is about 32 some odd feet because it's, it, it's like 10 meters. Um, so that equates to roughly 32, 33 feet. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the no course. And so working wits on, we only have one tool. I want, let's go with two headlands for this. We want to start work on the headland, smooth corners, up and down is probably what we want. Um, we could actually, well, if you go spiral, then why do you even need a headland at all? I, I'm, I'm not really sure. Oh, that starts at the field center and goes out. Is that what that means? I don't know. Anyway, um, we'll just go up and down. We're not going to skip any rows. And we're not using the land thingy. We don't have any islands to bypass. Okay, so let's generate the course. 
All right, and if we look down here now, um, we can see that it has generated a course. So it's going to go around and do two headlands. And then, oh, it's going to work this way. That's interesting. I wonder why it's working that way. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter as long as it has the room to maneuver. Um, okay, so I'm trying to get this auto drive thing out of the way. Can I just close it? Yeah, I don't. we don't need auto drive right now. We will be working with that later. Okay, so now... Um, Open and close course generator. Now, one of the things that has to happen here um, is we have to, we want to start at the first waypoint too, by the way. Right, first waypoint. Um, we have to save this because the other two AIs, so the Baylor and the Bale pickup dude, has to follow this exact same path in order for this to work, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder, and we're going to call this, um, wait a minute, what is this field here? Well, it's 53 and 54. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's 53 and 54. So let's go back here. Let's do create a new folder. We're going to call this 5354. Actually, I want to call it field 5354. Okay. And then we want to save this course. Uh, and we want to call this... Um, Uh, what should we call it? We we should call it. Hey. Harvest. Um, one eighty. Cm because we're using one hundred eighty cm. Well, you know what? That doesn't matter actually. It it doesn't has no it has no bearing whatsoever on. The uh, size of the bale because that's not going to change the path of anything. So we'll we'll just call this hay harvest. Keep it simple, right? Okay, so we've saved this course, and the reason that's important is because then we can reassign the same exact course to the other two, as I understand things. All right, now, um, I think we, all of this can just stay the way that it is. We only want to see the start and stop settings there. Okay. So now, in theory... If we just start this dude, he should go at it. Let's just see what happens. All right, why is he starting there, though? Maybe, maybe he'll come back around and do the outer headland. Maybe he does the inner headland first. Let's just watch him for a little bit and see what he does. Because we don't have to start the other guys right away. In fact, we really don't want to. We want to stagger them so they're not running into each other. But it looks to me like he's doing the inner headland first. This is really interesting. And I am uh, I'm hands-free too, by the way. <laughs> So he's just doing this by himself. He's one way he's kind of doing those little swervy swerve things. Okay, that's apparently where he will s stop at the very end. Okay, so he's going up this way. So yeah, I mean, let's assume this works. Uh, let's just say it works great. Okay, here's the trade-off. You guys might be thinking, well, oh gee, you're having the AI do all your work for you. You're not doing any work at all. Not true, <laughs> because we're gonna have really quick harvesting and baling and bale pickup. But then I'm gonna have all the work of creating the tube on the on the back end. So 
you know, we're, we're kind of, it, it's a trade-off. And, you know, that's going to be a, a fair amount of work t- to do that. It, it really kind of all boils down to the number of bales. But, if, but I think, you know, if we can reduce the number of bales that, you know, there's less handling, even though they're bigger, and the Anderson trailer, which is out in the field waiting on the New Holland, that'll pick up 24 round bales regardless of their size. So, uh, whereas I'm not going to be able to pick up 24 of the large round bales on the flatbed using um, using the universal pickup. Okay, let's see what he's going to do now. Is he going to start the outer headland? No, he's not. That is interesting. Okay, so... Why is he doing that? If we look at the course, it shows there's a path along the outside edge there. But it's like he's started on the inner rows now. Is he going to do the headland last? He missed a little spot there, too, but that's... Okay. I guess... I, I, I'm i guessing it's because the, the first waypoint... Well, I don't know. Okay, no way. He's going back this way now. It's just really interesting how the AI... Is, no, he's not going back the way. He's he's going to keep going up and down this way. Okay, I've got to figure out why he did that. So, I'm going to stop him. Well, here, let's let him finish this next row. We'll do that first. It seems like he he went for the inner row instead of the you know the outer row to start with and I, and that again I don't understand why he did that or it did that. Okay, let's stop. Okay, so we're going to take take him back to the beginning here. Okay, so we have the option of first waypoint, nearest waypoint, last waypoint. But I th this is this is the first waypoint, right? Okay, let's let's just push play and see what happens. Oh, uh, did I start him off on nearest waypoint? Maybe that's what screwed screwed it up. That's probably what happened. Okay, so, yeah, we needed to use first waypoint, not where uh, nearest waypoint. Okay, that explains it. As long as I understand what's going on, that way I know, then, you know, we're good. I'm thinking that's probably what happened there. I wonder, though, if because of that, he'll, uh, He'll redo the path that he already did. If it looks like that's what he's going to do, I'll stop him and then start him up kind of where he left off. It's interesting that it did that little dippity-do thingy there. Let's see how he handles the, the corner in the hill here. Seemed to handle it pretty good. That little patch gets missed there all the time anyway just because of the angle. For this... First test that we're doing. I'm I'm not 
going to put the V rake on the baler, but if it looks like the baler's missing a lot of material, then maybe the next time we'll pop the V rake on too. Okay. Now, the question is, is he going to be able to detect that he's already done the second head when, or, uh, headland, or is he just going to go right to it and start doing it again? It looks like he's going to go right to it and start doing it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to stop him. And I'm going to... All right, okay, so he went down that direction. So we he left off down here because of the way the arrows are pointing. I will, of course, have to come along at the very end and just pick up the little pieces, but that's not a big deal. Okay, so my guess is that if we go right here... Maybe even back up a little bit. What hap well, What happens now? Will he just start right there? Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. This has to be nearest waypoint. My bad. Okay, now let's see what happens. Because I told him to go back to the beginning there. It looks like it's working. All right. Nice. Okay, so, yeah, um, I'll have to go back and look at the footage, but I'm pretty sure that I started him off on nearest waypoint instead of first waypoint. And that's why, you know, he didn't do the the first headland. Okay, great. So, we're going to hop out and leave him to it. This is fun, man. I love it. What I like about it is that it allows you to more closely simulate actual people helping you, you know, like real workers would, because they'd be smart enough to do all this, right? So I think that's really cool. And plus, you know, it frees me up to do other things, ultimately. Here, let's get auto drive out of the way. We're going to make use of auto drive during market day. That is the plan anyway. Okay, so now we should, first thing we want to do is we want to set you to 180 centimeter bales. Okay, so that's done. And he's not going to, because we're using the largest bales, he's not going to be able to wrap them, which is fine. And my understanding is that when you use course play, the AI knows that they're bailing and they will stop, um, you know, when they need to. Okay, so let's get him in position here. Okay, that's probably good right there. Uh, now, if we go to course... Okay, so it's changed to the working width of the bale pickup. There's only one tool. Uh, there's two headlands. Start, excuse me, start work on the headland. Up and down. Basically, we want the same settings as the, the other guy. Except for, wait a minute, though. Um, this is going to generate a new course. That's not what we want to do. We want to, I think we want to go here and select this and load this course. And then activate it. Right, okay. So yeah, that activated the Hay Harvest course. If you look in the uh, over on the right-hand side under the course play window, it does say Hay Harvest because that's what I named it. Um, and we want to make sure this says first waypoint and let's see what happens. He's bailing. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Fantastic. Okay. Now that the acid test though is, is, is he going to stop when the bale's full? Baylor's full. He is. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, and let's see, you are on 180 centimeter bales, right? 
Well, it's not telling me that now, but yeah, we set it to that, so we know it is. Oh, wait a minute, though. Hold on, he's... How is it that he's wrapping a 150-centimeter bale? That's not... You're not supposed to be able to do that. That definitely looks like the big bales. Oh, I know why. Because he had a smaller one left over. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, this was a, a 150 that was left over, so he had to finish it. Because, yeah, if we look at this, this is a 7,500 liter um, bale, and that's the big one. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was, like, so confused there for a second. So this one was already in. This is a 5,500 liter bale. It was already in there, so he had to finish it out. That makes perfect sense. Okay, you know what, though? We can't have this on the course because if the pickup dude picks up a 150, then it won't let him pick up the 180s. So we're going to have to remove uh, that one ourselves. I mean, even if these guys get, say, like 80%, and they'll probably even do better than that, but even if they get 80%, it's worth doing, man. Okay, so let's hop in here. Put some lights on. We'll just grab that one um, 150 bale, you know, just to get it out of the way. Yeah, so he's 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 bailing the headland, and as long as the two don't crash into each other, you know, when the mowers turning around, they should be they should stay out of each other's way. Now, the thing that's interesting about the bale pickup, though, from what I saw in the video I watched, is the bale pickup doesn't follow the course directly. It kind of looks for the bales and just goes to pick them up, which is kind of neat, but it also means that, you know, he could potentially run into one of the other guys. So, you know, we, we have to, we can't, we have to keep an eye on him is what I'm trying to say. But again, like I said, if these guys can do the majority of this on their own, that's that's worth it. Totally worth it. Okay, let's drop this bale off. And again, the reason I'm going to use the Anderson trailer here instead of the universal pickup is because this thing is going to pick up 24 of those large bales on our flatbed. We probably we could only pick up maybe half of that, if even that much. Oh, you know what? That's actually not silage yet. It hasn't fermented. I forgot about that. So we're going to have to put it off to the side for now until it ferments. Um, so I'm just going to put it... We'll just stick it right here for now. Don't roll away. Uh... Having this um, right-click thing is a bit of a pain in the butt. I might need to change the key on that. There he goes. Look at him, man. That is fantastic. All right. Now, there's supposed to also be a way... Uh, well, I, okay, I know with a combine, you can have the combine actually offload its grain into a trailer, but I don't know how that would work necessarily with this, unless we, uh, unless we set up auto drive, which I don't really want to get into that today, because that's, all, that's pretty involved, um, But let's look at something here. If we go... Uh, what does this do? Copy, cor copy course, temporary course. Oh, that's kind of neat. Uh, all right, so let's go into here. Oh, you okay, so you can set the bale type for this. You can tell him to pick up all bales. Ooh, I wonder if that means he could pick up the different size. Only wrapped, only not wrapped, all bales. 
Okay, well, in this case, I guess it isn't going to matter. All right, so uh, what we want to do is we want to load a harvest. Um, clear current course space change mode. Wait, what? All right, how do I load the course for this guy? Oh, it, it does it, it thinks it has a a course already. I must have done something. Okay. A load course. There we go. Activate. All right, now this course is loaded. Uh is there a drop off option? Because this is picking stuff up. Nothing there. Show course, open HUD, race tool, vehicle debug, nothing there. That just loads it. Action, event help, automatic repair. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything for that. All right. Well, let's just turn him loose and see what he does. So start at first waypoint. And again, I'm not driving. Oh, you know what? He does seem to be following the course. I wonder if they change that so that's what he does. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though, because it'll keep him out of the way, you know, of the other, the others. Yeah, he's definitely following the course, isn't he? Um, locked by an object. Oh, yeah, over here. So it's giving us an alert that there's something going on. I guess that's the problem with bailing the headland first. But it's not a whole lot. I mean, how would we handle that? Unless we do all of the mowing before we started the bailing, but that's going to take more time, of course. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what the best option is for that. Look at that guy going, man. He's picking up the bales. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is great, you guys. Okay, so I guess when our bale loader gets a full load, I'm going to assume... Are they going to crash? No. I'm going to assume that he's just going to stop and we have to run out to him and drive the bales to where they need to go. I think. I could be wrong about that, though. Look at the size of those bales, man. That's awesome. The less bales we have to handle, the better. And he's just about done. Yep, he's just following the course. Okay. Again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, let's turn... Uh, that off and he should be done yep finished work all right so we're gonna take over and just get the stuff that he missed and we'll probably have to you know do the same thing with the baler too but that's fine I mean they did a pretty darn good job overall I think okay so yeah let's uh just clean it clean things up here can I get to that what if I back down it no nope. what if we okay somebody's yeah the Baylor's blocked might be better off to do oh no that's not the Baylor it's the pickup dude 
Okay, why would... Hmm. Oh, that's the one we moved. Okay, that makes sense, because it's not in line like it should be. Oops. He is really moving fast. Let's get out of his way here. He's going to run us over. So I am thinking maybe actually putting the V-Rake on is probably a good idea. We'll try that maybe on the next field. Of course, the other fields are a little more um, irregular than this one. So we'll have to see how that goes. Fifty not so much, but the ones that are closer to the farm. Oh, uh, you know what? I shouldn't have moved that out of the way because now dude probably won't pick it up. <laughs> I got to keep all these things in mind now. So yeah, it is, it's going to take me a little bit of time to c clean up after him, but you know, not not nowhere near as much time as it would take me to mow, bale, and pick up on my own, you know. So it's still very worth it to do this. Alright, why is he still going around the headland? Did he detect that other bale? Let's see what he does. He should be going up and down now. I wonder if it's because he detected where the bale was before I moved it. What is he going to do about it? He'll, okay, he's backing up. Wow, I am impressed. He actually backed up and knew that he needed to turn to get the bale, except for he, <laughs> he didn't turn enough, though. That's still pretty pretty smart, though, if you think about it, right? Where am I at? There we go. <laughs> Had to help him a little bit. Needed a little assist there. Uh-oh. Get out of the way. All right, now he's going to go... Wait, what is he going to do? Yep, I think he's going to go down the lines now. That is cool, man. Okay. But with as fast as that dude's going, he's probably going to catch up to the baler. I wonder if, when that happens if he, you know, if he'll queue up or or what he'll do. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay, let's keep cleaning up here. Yeah, and really it's just a little bit on the headlands and the corners. Everything in the middle of the field... Uh, looks good. I don't see any missed spots. Got a bunch of stuttering going on there. Okay, I think this field's clean. Uh, what we're going to do now... Is we're going to do a course for this really irregular area over here. And see if course plays smart enough to figure this one out. At present, I don't really have any plans to change 
this little pasture here or hay field, but you never know. Changes could happen. Uh, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go here. And we're going to... Let's click on this. Uh, no, let's click on this and do clear current course. Open course editor. Target location is not a course. Wait, what? I don't know what that meant. Uh. Okay. So... Go course. Right. Okay, this is what we want. Okay, so let's do uh, just one headland here. And I think everything else can probably stay the way that it is. Um, okay, so let's generate a course. All right, look at that. How interesting. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to go, yeah, start at first waypoint. We want to go here and... We want to save this course. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I think I did the wrong thing. Temporary course. Save course. Well, actually, no. We want to create a new folder. So this... Uh, what are we going to call this? We'll call this um, animal area. Okay, now we'll save the course here and we will call this um, Hay Harvest. I don't, I'm assuming we can have the same name because it's in a different folder. Hopefully that's the case. Okay. All right, so we're, actually, you know what, that's not a, that's probably not a good idea. We should still name it differently just so we know for sure that uh, it's different. So let's redo that. So let's go to animal area, hay harvest. Can I, what's change mode mean? Edit files, move, rename entry. There we go. Okay. Activate. I don't know if there's a limitation on how long the names can be. Animal area, hay harvest. Okay. Oh, we still have to load it though. I'm I'm trying to figure this out, you guys. <laughs> um. Oh, did we not save it? Clear current course. Load course. Activate. There. Now it says animal hay harvest. Okay. Perfect. Um. All right. So. Where did it create the first waypoint? Oh, it's right here. Let's go in that direction. Okay, so let's do this. All right. Um, we want first waypoint and go to it, man. I'm really curious to see how well it's going to do because this is a very irregular shaped field I mean it looks like the the course it mapped out looks pretty reasonable to me what a neat mod hats off to uh to the mod author for this. Oh, somebody's blocked by an object. Uh, if I click on this, oh, it tells me that it's the 
New Holland. What happens if I actually click? Oh, it takes me right to him. Look at that. Well, oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, let's stop him. It takes me right to him. How useful is that? Okay, I gotta turn the course on here because I'm not sure which direction. Uh, no, this is a good starting spot. Uh, starting point. Okay, so uh, we just want you to go to nearest waypoint. Very neat. Okay, so not only does it tell you who's having a problem, but if you click on it, you can teleport right to him. Very well thought out mod. Absolutely well thought out mod. Okay, so he's got 19 of these enormous bales on there so far. And our mower is... He's thinking about it. <laughs> it's a pretty weird field. There's no doubt about it. Uh, what's he actually doing, though? Why is his blades up? Oh, you know why? Because he did the headland, and now he's going to do the inner part. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. I wonder if that little field would actually work better if it didn't have a headland. I don't know. We, we could always experiment with that at some point. Okay, looks like our baler's doing great. Yeah, okay. So here's what we're going to do. We need to get set up to make the tubes. Does this have a hitch on the back of it? It appears to. Uh, all right. Where is my tube maker thingy? Actually, you know what? Let's just drive this. We can drive this ourselves. Because it, because we're gonna do it right here anyway. We're not gonna win any races with this. I was thinking we could even maybe do a tube along the back of the shed, but we might have trouble getting the tractor in there if we did it that way. Okay, it just said somebody finished their work. I'm guessing it's probably the hay pickup guy. Or it could be the mower. Here, we'll check in a second. Yeah, I think it's the mower because he stopped over there. Okay, so we we do need to be able to get in there. So um, let's get a little closer this way. Yeah, we'll start right here. Okay, so we'll unfold that. And then just turn that off for now. He's backing up and trying to do something. Oh, is he full? No, I don't think he's full. I think he has. Yeah, he's... He's getting there, though. Okay. Let's, um... Actually, here. All we have to do is click on... Here, let's get out of that. Is click on this. And it takes us right to the big M. Okay, did he get everything? He did a pretty good job overall. Not maybe everything, but good enough for me, man. 
Okay. So we'll just uh, finish up the rest of it. Goes that stuttering again. That's bad. It's headache inducing. I'll probably have the baler come over and try this course, but um, I'm definitely going to have to probably do a good portion of it. Could, you know, this could be a good candidate for the V-Rig, too. All right. That guy is full, but it's not telling me that he's full. I wonder why that is. So let's just park the mower here for now and we'll come back and we'll do a a course on this field. Here, let's just do this. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't uh, it doesn't tell you when he's full. So let's stop. 24 ginormous bales. But, you know, instead of 100 bales, we only have 40 to pick up kind of thing. All right. I think I got to think about this for a second. I think we actually want to drop these off alongside and not in front of, because it's going to be pushing it forward. And not even necessarily right up close to it either. So let's let's try right here. You know, I've never, I'm never i trying to figure this all out, so the first time around it's going to be kind of a little bit of trial and error here. Okay, so let's get this guy back on track here. He was facing this direction. In fact, yeah, he was right about here because there's the tire tracks. So what if we just... He's on nearest waypoint, so let's just start him up. And yeah, looks like he's going to go towards that bale, which is exactly what we want him to do. Nice. Okay, let's start you up. At some point, I'll probably load up one of the stone pickers and come and pick those up because it's going to bug me otherwise. So this is where I go to work now. <laughs> Uh, and again, this might not be the best way to do this, but I'm trying it at least once. So that way we can say that we did, you know? Okay, let's start you. I wonder, too, if this would work better... 
if I use the the bale fork. Let's try it with this first, and we'll see. Yeah, see, I, I don't want three at a time. That's that's gonna be the issue with this. So yeah, let's do the let's use the bale fork. I think that's gonna work better for us. Because you can't control how many this guy's going to grab. At least not vertically. Why does it keep doing that? There. not giving me the option to hook it up. Do I have it backwards? Oh, yeah. I bet you I have that thing turned around the other way. Sure enough. This is actually a front loader tool, so that's why we have to have this adapter here. For those of you who might be wondering what that is. Though, I think... I think they might actually have a bail loader for telehandlers. No, not like that one. Okay. And I like this one quite a bit. There it goes. Neat. I love it. <laughs> okay. Again, maybe not the best way to do this, but a way to do this, right? Fortunately, I don't have to put it in perfectly straight. You would have to in real life, of course. There it goes. Let's grab three. That's heavy, man. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe what we should have done is stacked them kind of more this direction so I'm not having to do so much turning around. But again, we're learning here. We'll know better for next time. I wonder if I could grab both of these. And do this one first. And then this one. I 
have to wait for that thing to come all the way back up. Yeah, okay. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, you guys, this isn't working out too bad, actually. This is not working out too bad. Okay, somebody has finished their work. So let's um, put this on hold, uh, hold for a second. And it is our baler. Look at you, man. I am so proud of you. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Let's have the baler go do the animal field, the animal area. Because uh, I'm, I'm going to... I am definitely going to put the V-Rake on here. In fact, why don't we just put the V-Rake on right now? There's no reason not to. Uh, but I'll use the V-Rake to clean up, you know, the, the mist parts. But, I mean, that's a pretty clean job, all things considered, I think. I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. Our pickup guy's just out there picking away. All right, so we're gonna start you here. Actually, let's do this. Maybe I will actually clean up the this field first. Uh, okay, so if we do that and that. Okay, yep, let's clean up the mess. Man, I'll tell you, it's it's almost not even worth it for me to go try and pick up all those little tiny patches in the center of the field. It's one of those things where you have to balance the time it's taking to do something versus the return on investment kind of thing. Okay, we got a tree right there. Let's see if we can pull this grass over this way a little bit and I'll come back and hit that on the well actually maybe I'll turn around and do it now I need to try not to move these bales too much though because that's the path you know that the horse play has them on Uh, yeah, he's messed up, but that could be because that bale was moved. It's too bad. I mean, I'm impressed with this mod. Absolutely impressed with it. But it's too bad there isn't some way that, you know, the, when that happens, he can kind of figure out a way around it, you know? Oh, I left this thing running. It doesn't, it doesn't actually use fuel though. I mean, it should, but it doesn't. <laughs> but we'll turn it off. It has like a little Briggs and Stratton kind of, you know, small engine that runs it, but it just magically runs off of no fuel. You know, the other thing, too, is if I do keep the V-Rake on here, then maybe those little spots that are out in the field won't happen. So we'll try it next time, the next field we do, we'll try it with the V-Rake. Well, actually, we're going to try it in just a moment with the little field there.
It's interesting to think about how significantly some of these mods um, just dramatically impact the game, you know, and what you can do in it. It opens up so many more possibilities. I love it. All right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do one pass over here to get these little pieces, and that's it. I'm not going to go all over the field for him. Right, he's blocked again. That's my fault, though, for moving this bale. I guess I think that's the one I moved. Okay. But the yeah, again, these are such small patches of grass that are they're really not worth my time. Okay, so let's um yeah I know I should have grabbed those since we were going by them, but Let's just see what he does now with the V-Rake here. You're just going to have to wait, bud. You are going to have to wait. Okay, so what we want to do is go into here here and we want to go to here and we want to go clear current course we want to ch uh, select the animal area hay harvest and load this course and activate it all right and yep it says animal hay harvest here first waypoint let's see what happens Yeah, I didn't expect him to get that bit on the end because that's actually, I did that. So I think the rake is going to inadvertently, you know, help him pick up a little more than he otherwise would. Maybe? Or maybe the rake is... <laughs> It's actually screwing him up by pushing it. Well, no, not really. I wouldn't say it's screwing him up. Yeah, he's not going to grab that because I did that. That's fine. Man, there's the hay is so dense. It's like just a really good yield. For him to get... You know, already two giant bales on this little tiny patch, and he's not even done yet. It's pretty good. The first bale kind of doesn't really count because it came off the other field. All right, that might be a bit of a problem. Nope, he's getting around it. Okay. I have a feeling like... Hmm. He should be going up towards the sheet to start the middle part of the field, but he's, it's almost like he's going, hmm, there's some hay here. Maybe I should pick it up. Fascinating. Now what's he doing? <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. Well, um, this is obviously going to get in his way, so let's move it. And this will probably also get in the way. Yeah. 
He almost acts like he's a little confused. Well, maybe not. I, I think there is probably something to this where they can detect that there's hay there, maybe? Sort of semi kind of think autonomously. Or maybe I'm just, maybe that's just wishful thinking. I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. But it, it's it's apparent to me that, for bailing anyways, it isn't really worth it to use course play on, the, whoops, on this field because the bales are just getting in the way too much. Now, the mower was great, uh, but I'll probably end up just doing the bailing myself on this little section here in the future. Okay, so we'll, our loader's over there doing his thing. Let's hop back over to our telehandler and um, keep hitting the wrong buttons here and load some more of these up. Now, what is the possibility of doing this? Oh man, I love it. Absolutely love it. This is great. Okay, we gotta wait for the extractor, pusher, plunger, thingamadoodle to come back out. And then we just pop you in there. That works pretty darn good, you guys. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. This, this isn't actually taking as long as I thought it might. I do think, though, on the next load, we're going to load it to the side and to the left of the sausage. Um, that's just going to mean less turning for me when I'm picking these up. That's great. That is phantasmagorical. Okay, somebody's blocked. You are blocked. Okay. We're going to cancel you and just finish the bailing ourselves. And like I said, in the future, I probably won't use course play for the baling on this field because it's just uh, it's too tight the bales get in the way too much that sort of thing but it works fantastic for the mowing it looks like our dude's ready with another load out there too so off of our biggest field we can get just just a little more than two full loads of the big bales which is great because here again you know less handling uh, with all that stuff the only significant effort to this is what I'm doing with the tube for wrapping. But again, when it comes time to sell, unwrapping and loading is going to be really easy. So I think it's a pretty decent trade-off, all things considered. I'm still absolutely loving this V-Rake, man. Just an amazing and simple, you know, piece of equipment. No, nope, that's not a spot there. There's a couple spots there, but yeah, I, I, I'm good. We don't need to worry about those. 
All right, you guys. Um, so let's see. We are probably massively out of time already. <laughs> time goes by so fast when I'm recording these videos. It's because we're having fun, right? So let's. Uh, I think the course play map on this field is going to be very straightforward because it's pretty much just a rectangle. This one will be a little more challenging because. You know of what's going on over there so you know what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep going I want to I want to show you guys all of this on my fields and we'll probably just have to make this a, like a two-parter not the first time won't be the last time okay so now that that's decided yeah let's just keep going here <laughs> 